up, y'all? Phil Deru back again with another video. Today, again, we are at American Top Team. We are working with my boxing crew. They are roughly under four weeks out. Maureen's got a fight this week, so we're tapering her off. She's gonna be working on more just speed quality and then just kind of restoration type work at the end, right? Trap and Arthur, they're gonna be working on more of that speed quality, that higher velocity type work. So we're working in speed strength ranges and explosive strength ranges to increase rate of force development and that stretch shortening cycle. So follow along, let's do this. Watch here, watch here, sit here. Sit down, reach, and then open, right? So you're here, open it straight up, all right? You gotta stretch the hip flexor and the psoas complex. Open up with your thumbs facing back so you get a lat stretch too as well. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Thumbs up, Arthur. Pull that knee up high. All right, from there, I just want you switching. So you're gonna hold for a five count, stretch the calf, pull that knee up into flexion, then switch. Five count on each side, let's get five each on uh, each leg. Flex the feet, make sure you keep a neutral spine, don't round the back. Back is flat. Heels are down, heels are down. I said heels are down, perfect. Here, instead of coming down slow, we're gonna switch it up fast. So we're here, right, then we switch fast. So here, drive, boom, switch, all right? Hold for a five count, then switch. Hold for a five count, then switch chest fast. Up, chest right. up, you're rounding your, you're, you're tucking your hips too much. Maureen, stick your butt out more. No, no, there. Squeeze your glute, drive your heel to the ground. Your bottom heels to the ground. Get him up, get him up, get him up. Good, full extension, full extension, full extension. Full extension, good, keep those knees locked in. Bend Locked the knees up. here in the front, and then we're extending, extending. Bend the knees, okay, knees come over the toes slightly. All right, so we're ankle rocking it. So you're here, knees come over the toes, and then you get the extension of the feet. Now you're gonna come back with your butt. Instead of the knees going forward, you're going back with your butt, so I'm up, Extension, back with your butt, all right? Up, extension, back with your butt, all right? That makes here, instead of here, right? That's what you did before. This is what you did the first time. We went from here, now we're going here. Just think about this, use your hands, crush your hands, right, with your legs and your abs. Okay, that makes sense? Let's go. Everybody's keeping the speed here, so we're here, like, quick. Right, fast. Okay, let it go a little bit, catch it, but bring it all the way back in. Quick and back in, all right? Come on, good speed. Good. Come on, speed, 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 let's go. Let's go. Let's dig into the hip here. So I want you to come down like you're about to throw it from the hip and then turn it over. So we're gonna be here. You're gonna straighten the arms out. We're gonna come down and then punch straight through. All right, I come down. See how I'm coming with my hip though? This stays straight. So as I come down, see my feet, right? I'm in a good position here. I'm loading the hip on this side and then I'm using the glute to drive into hip extension and then use that going all the way through. So I'm coupling it up throughout the entire body. So I'm coming here, boom, and I'm driving through, right? Use that other hand just like you were shooting a basketball. You're just using that other hand to hold it in place. Nice. First. Yep. Keep that groove fired. There you go. On the other side. Go. Mm -hmm. 
rest. Good. Squeeze that glute and then just fire up the hip flexor on the far side. That's different. Mm -hmm. All right, so you got to maintain, it's, it's a unilateral okay. movement. So you got to maintain stiffness, tightness here, right? Contraction of the glute, and then you're firing the opposite side. All right, so we're allowing for that force displacement to be both sides only. You're only isolating that one side. Keep it locked out because you got to make sure that you're having proximal stability, right? Let's go. Yeah, let's go again. Yep, again. Good, that's it. All right. Now we start from that, all right? So now let's do four more sets, all right? Let's do it. Now they're doing the AFSM method where basically they're using facilitated muscles. So they're using the antagonistic muscle to pull themselves down into the squat and then have to redirect force with added load. So now you have an overspeed eccentric with your own body weight coming down as fast as you can, pulling it into that place of high hinge position so that they can explode in that triple extension with their hips, their knees, and their ankles. Don't let those knees cave in. Come on. There you go. Good. Fast down. Drop, go. Drop, go. Good. Get off the ground. There you go. Good. Bend the knees when you land. There you go. Bend the knees when you land. Good. Good. Relax. All the way down to the end of the mat. All right. Make sure you maintain that neutral spine, drive your rib cage down and activate your abs, all right? Gotta activate the abs, the obliques, all right? So all the way down is one, all right? Let's get four reps, or four sets. Stay low, all right? Keep your back flat. Little steps, little steps. Fucking big ass step. Little, there you go, Arthur, that's the one. Head down now, right there. Good. Nice and strong, nice and strong. To the 30 after you dead hang right full extension try to let your back get loose then from here we're coming up and then i want here we're going to rotate so we're rotating right here transverse abdominals Ilya, right there oh. all right so you're going to hit the muscles here obliques iliacus rectus abdominals okay hold for a second 30 or 15 seconds hold it Hit the iliopsoas, right? Hit the side, right? When you go to rotate, these are gonna be important, all right? These muscles are gonna be important. So almost finishing up, get some core work in. Core work, trunk work, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, some mid midsection in general. Uh, today is more of a speed day, so we're working on more of that higher velocity, force, high force, high velocity type work. So we're working in the speed strength range and explosive strength range. Um, to increase rate of force development, to increase that stretch shortening cycle, and uh, just, just increase speed in general. So, that's what we're gonna finish with. Go, knees up. Good, side to side, let's go. Side to side. Good, side to side. Stay strong, stay strong, stay strong. Keep those lats engaged. Good, side to side, let's go. Finish it, finish it. Good, lift the hips. Good, side to side, and time. All right, y'all, that's a wrap. So as you can see, again, we are working on a high velocity type of work, working on speed strength, explosive strength, to increase the overall ability to be fast throughout the entire duration of the fight for our boxing crew. All right, so again, if you have any questions, hit the comments down below. If you like this style of video, let me know by hitting the like button. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit the notification. I'll see you again next time, peace.